Well, hello there. I'm the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can of beer, a bottle of beer, sometimes a wine or a spirit might drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. <clears throat> we take a look at the label. We read everything on the label. Take a look at the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets expectations. A couple of things. First off, we always serve the beer at the correct temperature. Lagers between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit and ales between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The good folks at Thermoworks sent me one of their lollipop uh, thermometers. That's what we use to take the temperature of all the beers here. If you're interested in finding out what temperature your beer should be served at, just click on the banner up there and I'll let you know. Also, we always use the same glassware for all of our tastings. That way nobody has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. And finally, most people do a tasting. They will take a look. They will sniff. They will sip. And they will pontificate. Well, I sip first. Why? I'll let wine expert Fred Dax explain it all to you. He does it a lot better than I do. All right, well, what do we have today? <coughs> all right. Gave you a little look there, it's Glamorous Life. Now what a, uh, looks like a ch chicken or a turkey has to do with Glamorous wife, Life, I don't know, but it's got a necklace of diamonds. All right, let's start over here. It says, parking your car sideways. What does it say about you? Gold is the new purple, our shopping guide for discerning locksmith. Plus, the top 10 sax riffs of all times, Larry Williams, counts us down. The most regal beer yet from Hen House Brewing Company. We are dreaming of when we brewed this. Forgive us if it goes too fast. Sparkling American Lager. Parties? Meant to last. The answer may surprise you. 6.5 minutes of cowbell when too much is not enough. Diamonds and Furs, the summer's daring new look. Exclusive jasmine rice and laurel hops lend their sheer elegance to this bright beverage. So we have a little bit of a hint of really what it's all about here so far. Jasmine rice and laurel hops. All right. And it's a light American lager. It clocks in at 3.8% alcohol by volume. That's a real session beer. Is brewed and canned by Hen House Brewing Company, 322 Bellevue Avenue, South Rosa, Santa Rosa, California, 95407. Uh, check the date. This beer is most delicious within 90 days of canning date. And the canning date is. 222. It looks like. 62223 and we're in we're in number 11 so it's a little old but well <clears throat> you know sometimes that's the way it is but with a, a light beer like this and in a can I don't really see that there'd be any deterioration so what are you looking forward forward to an American light lager 3.2 percent is it 3.8 uh, percent and it's got the um, two rices in there so it's going to be a ricey beer which means uh, it's going to be like uh, making love in a canoe so here we go let's see if it meets those expectations well, there's very little color to that i mean that's like it is it's That's like, uh, well, uh, it's, that's got a little, it's a little straw colored. I'll give it that. I you can see through it. There, there we go. Okay. Well, now it's going to be a little bit warm because it's been out of the fridge for a while. So it's nowhere near 37 to 47 degrees, but oh, hey, it's 46 Fahrenheit. So it just slides under there. All right. Well, it certainly looks like a light American lager. Let's see if it tastes like a light American lager. Yes, I, I, I took two sips. 
That's because it's around 12.30 in the afternoon here in Brooklyn, and my taste buds go on siesta, so they have to be woke. Well, I just woke them. At least the chill woke them. Well, let's see what their little olfactory friends have to say. There's a little bit of a hop fart there, but it really isn't. I mean, I can't, I couldn't pick a, anything out. It's just, it's noticeable if you know what you're looking for. Let's see what the taste buds say about that. The taste buds are frantically looking for something. Ah, we've got a little bit of grainy, grain kind of, uh, the Brits call it biscuits and we call them cookies. Um, not quite a sugar cookie, but along that line. But very light, I mean, this is, this, if this is, uh, <coughs> this is their light American lager boy, I tell you, they have got it nailed. A sparkling one at that. I mean, look at the, the the carbonation in that is just tiny little bubbles. That is really a nice one. So, does Glamorous Life meet uh, their sparkling American lager meet expectations? It certainly did. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. Share us with your beer friends. And don't forget to leave a comment. That would be really great. I'm Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.